Hello guys, uh, today I have a new tutorial for you. Uh, it's about open course, uh, and I'm joined by Li uh, Liam. Liam, say hello. Hello. So uh, he pretty much helped me uh, make the open course. He's one of the best open core designers out there. And uh, yeah, he agreed to uh, give me a helping hand with making this tutorial. So this is the first uh, open core we have. This is uh, considered a normal slash narrow open core. Uh, yeah, pretty much it has some books in here. It's just good for uh, yep, most size groups. Usually what people do, they have a jump pin a mole here where they can get up from uh, yeah, usually the peak down layer. And then they have external jump ups, uh, which they can use to get in and out of their open core as well and to the peaks. In this one, you have the ramp peaks like such. You can use these, of course, to peek in. And then you have the low walls, which uh, give some additional angles that you wouldn't have without them. Uh, in the middle here, you have an extra part. You can use this to run from one side to the other part. It's a the reason why there's doors there is for sectioning. The same thing applies to these. You could put doors here so it uh, is harder for the raiders to gain control over your open core peaks, and thus making it easier to retake it if the raiders end up in your uh, yeah peak floor. Uh, the advantage of this open core is that it usually if they come from like below, so if they breach through the peak downs or they uh, bump through the side, you still get your open core peaks. You can shoot down on them. And um, if your peaks are set up proper, there's not much they can do. Okay guys, for the next open core, uh, we have a very wide open core. Uh, this is usually what groups that uh, don't really mind the amount of walls to core use. Uh, the thing which is nice about these kind of open cores is that you have more ways to peek into them. You can make more ways since there's just more walls connected to it. So you have a, in the middle part, you have a nice top down view. These turrets cover the alleyways here, these middle ones cover the middle and also uh, if you put bolties in them they can uh, cover the entrances excellently. The reason why you would want to use this one is just for a more spacious feeling and uh, maybe a little bit more defendability and just in general uh, more box space since you're gonna have more loot rooms. Uh, the advantage of this one is as I said more loot rooms uh, more space. Uh, the negative parts of uh, this kind of open core is that of course you lose some walls of your, on your base. Plus it's uh, if the raiders get full control of your peaks you're pretty much used uh, like defenseless. You can't really get back into it since it's a lot of peaks they can use to hold you out. So as long as you keep control of the peaks you should be good. Okay for the last type of open core today uh, I'm gonna show you a collapsible one. In this one it's pretty much the same as the narrow open core but there's uh, one big difference in the middle here you put the, the frames to be wood instead of stone you make sure these uh, ceilings aren't connected to the outer shell uh, the reason why you don't do that uh, I'll demonstrate it real quick uh, Liam shoot the rocket in the middle when people breach your open core and uh, the wood get pummeled out or you decide to do it yourself in a raid defense this roof opens up meaning you get more uh, peaks into the open core which you usually don't have Again, it's important to um, make sure you section this layer off. The reason why this would be good to use is because it's uh, yeah, it's really strong. Uh, it adds way more angles to your defendability. So in an online raid, you can uh, spawn up here at your beds, walk into the top peaks and uh, shoot in any angle and uh, be barely visible in most cases. Another good thing to use this is because usually uh, in open core peaks, you have limited views you have limited angles but on here everything becomes an angle you can use to defend uh, the downside of this one is let's say somebody goes deeper in your base before a raid starts and they start raiding and they decide okay uh, let's fuck it up for them uh, let's blow this before the raid starts so they start penalting uh, people who aren't the base builder try to repair it by putting a frame down and sealing it like it's a usual roof meaning that in the case that they breach it after that it becomes a normal open core and then these uh, side peaks so yeah name is demonstrating it right now you end up with something like this meaning it's not uh, collapsible anymore meaning if you get raided you don't have any peaks into the open core besides in this case these uh, window peaks are a little bit lower but yeah this middle part is gone then if you do it like normal or even like this it won't be blown out as easy as it being wood if the wood if it gets blown out, this whole thing is gone. 
if you do it uh, like you would usually seal up your roof and then you breach these uh, frames, it's still all up and uh, yeah, it's pretty much ruined the collapsible roof. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna show you how the bed should correspond with your open core peak so it's easy to get back into the fight to defend your open core and thus uh, all your loot or all your core loot in the base. So this is the OT base made by Liam. This is the open core. Uh, you have six ways to peek into it uh, through these low walls. And pretty much if you want to defend the uh, open core it would look like this. You shoot through these, kill the raiders, push in and so. Uh, now for the respawns, let's say you die or you uh, here you're getting raided in F1 kill. Spawn in your bed, grab a locker kit, run here, jump to one of these triangles and you can start defending your open core. Uh, that's one of the ways this base uh, yeah, offers. A different way this base offers is from down below. The way that works is uh, you get down here. You have a nice bed floor here as well. You spawn in one of the beds, jump up here. You can start defending like this and shoot at the feet of the raiders. Uh, the reason why it's important to have bets near your open core, so it's easier to respawn, easier to retake. 